What's going on, everybody? Doc from Average Gamer Guys back yet again, and we have it. You can see on the screen the Friends update, the February 19th update is officially live. Went live just about 40 or so minutes ago. So we're getting out there quick, fast, and in a hurry. We're just going to do a real quick deep dive. That sounds interesting. It's going to be quick, but we're going to do a deep dive. We're going to do a quick overview of the update what it all has in it and just uh, show off some of the stuff so we'll show off some of the rewards uh, for season nine that's what we're going to do here uh, and then we'll jump into some of the specific details i'm going to read through the patch notes as well uh, everything will be linked down below so if you want to go to rocket league's webpage, you guys can take a look at the actual post read through all of it in very specific detail i'm just going to hit the main highlights uh, in this video so hopefully everybody is having a good day a lot of excitement we've got the update out live ready to go the the update i think on xbox was 6.1 gigs so not too terribly large unless you have really bad internet that might take a little while hopefully you're not in that position but welcome welcome to average game guys hope you guys enjoy this video hopefully you guys like it if you do like comment subscribe do all that great stuff you guys know what to do so let's flip through these here we got the season 9 bronze rewards we got the silvers we got the golds we got the Platinums, and we did get the Diamonds. We unfortunately did not get our Champ Rewards. We were relatively close in threes. Just couldn't quite pull it off, unfortunately. And uh, that's okay. That's something to work for for me for the next season. I think in threes, we might have an opportunity to do that. Um, so there's a couple of things that changed, and we will definitely talk about those. Obviously, this is 100% uh you know the update all focused around the friends uh the friends detail so let's jump into this a little bit this is nice that these are sorted accurately so these are our previous season rewards if these are season six we're getting wheels back in season nine let's take a look actually do a little bit of comparison so i really was not a big fan of the season uh six rewards platinums were actually okay they were they were okay they were kind of neat we got some season three rewards that's actually when we first started playing the game so we've had three six and nine we're on this like three season rotation of wheels um i was terrible back when i first started playing but i did get up to goal which is pretty impressive and uh we can just kind of see some of the evolution but let's take a look at these wheels so what's interesting about these is they continue to get a little bit better i feel like we get some better tread detail here which we really didn't have in any of the other season wheels uh, but we do get a little bit of very light animation with even the bronze rewards, which is pretty cool. So we'll just kind of step these up as we go. We get the silver ones. I actually really like the silver color. These look pretty good. Bronze is a little bit of a different color, but honestly not, not bad if you're trying to go for a specific theme. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Silver's not bad. Again, not a whole lot of additional detail between these two. They look pretty similar, uh, but that's okay. Then we jump into, uh, I guess we should go to the gold. The gold actually stand out really nice. These are neat, actually. I'm a big fan of these. Look at the tread. The tread is awesome. Uh, so I'm becoming a, f a bigger fan. This is the first time I'm seeing these in person, too, by the way. So uh, these reactions are genuine. This is pretty cool. You get a lot of bright colors. So if you made it up to gold this season, say you're relatively new, uh, you should be pretty psyched for these. We jump into platinum. These look really cool, too. I really do like the tread. Um, not a whole lot of difference between the gold and the platinum. Obviously, besides the color, we get a little bit more interior animation. Actually, I don't think we do. I think it's the same. So these are pretty dang similar, um, which is not not necessarily a bad thing. And then we jump up into the diamond rewards. Now these, man, these beauties are bright. These are pretty cool too. And again, we get a little bit more tread detail. We get that kind of highlights around the wheel. Honestly, these are not terrible. These are not terrible. I really genuinely think I like the gold ones the best. That's just me. Again, I like simple things. <laughs> I'm a simpleton. <laughs> uh, I, I like these the best. These are pretty cool. Um, it, we'll have to get with Sloth or, or take a look at, at some of the other stuff. Grand Champ or Champ Wheels, I think, are actually very similar to this. Now, on top of the rewards, we also get, if I'm not mistaken, uh, there's, there's banners if you made it into Grand Champ. And there's different banners dependent on um, what, uh, where you got your champ at. So again, you get competitive grand champ, which is basically if you got grand champ in any of the during the season in any of the competitive modes, you're going to get uh, uh, this competitive grand champion uh, reward, which is a new title. 
then you're also going to get a specific title so not a banner a specific title excuse me um, for the other four competitive play modes so rumble grand champ uh, you're going to get that you're going to get an rng champ uh, in-game title for drop shot you're going to get floor destroyer for hoops you're going to get dunk master and for snow day you're going to get blizzard wizard which honestly was the one that i wanted <laughs> that one is absolutely awesome floor destroyer is also really really good uh dunk master they're actually all really good uh rumble the rng champ i'm not as not as thrilled with but the other four, the other three are pretty pretty cool uh and then again s s for just getting grand champ period you're just getting a grand champion for season nine title uh which is pretty cool so with all that being said, so that's your rewards. That's a quick down and dirty look. Let me know what you guys think in the comments uh, for which ones you like the best. I'm actually a big fan of the gold and the platinum, uh, but honestly not really disappointed with bronze or silver and the diamond. Diamond I think has to grow on me because they're a little bit more flashy, but they are pretty cool uh, as well and wish we could have had the grand champ ones, uh, but it is not to be. So this whole update is about friends. As you can see, uh, right down in the bottom right-hand corner, if I hit right trigger, we're going to bring up our friends list. This is really cool. So we talked about this in our update video, but basically these are all of my potential Xbox friends. Play on Xbox, these are all my potential Xbox friends. You guys can not only now see my gamer tag, but you can also see my Rocket ID. So it's Doc6913 with then uh, 3849 is the Rocket ID portion that's added on. So right now you can see I've got a couple of friends online and then these are all my Xbox friends that are on the normal platform. If I RB over, uh, I see Rocket ID friends. So these are everybody else that's on my friends list uh, that's gonna be on a different platform. So Switch, PlayStation, PC, Steam rather, um, are all gonna be here. I haven't added anybody yet because we're brand new into this. We have the option, you can see I can change with Y, I can change my Rocket ID if I wanna go ahead and do that, which I don't. And then I can add a friend by, by pressing X. Now I actually have cross-platform uh, play currently disabled, I, so I would need to turn that back on in the, in the options and we'll be doing that. Uh, but that gives you an idea of uh, how we can go about doing that and then I can add a friend uh, and move forward from there. And then uh, if I hit RB, I can also do recent players. So again, this is cool. This is gonna be up to 50 people uh, and gives you the option if you jump into a solo match or you're just solo queue in twos or threes, maybe you get really good synergy with the teammate, you wanna add them. Doesn't matter what platform they're on now, you can add them using this, which is pretty cool. And then we get these alert notifications, which show your friend requests, your party invites, club invites, and then any other notifications, which is gonna be if somebody accepts your party invite, somebody accepts your friend request, those kinds of things. So we have all that going on. Uh, in addition to this, I already kind of talked about season rewards. Season 10 is now ready to go. We did get a soft reset, which means you're gonna have to go in and you're gonna have to play your matches. We'll come back to that here in just a second. Uh, but what is pretty cool is they give us some additional options uh, for talking through uh, and for working um, with just a few things. So we have a specific ability to, to change our notifications uh, for during gameplay, which I'm actually going to go in and do. We can go into options here. Uh, I want to see here. I got to read the thing really quick. It says interface, so we go into interface uh, and then we can change our match notifications, um, which uh, I think is really good. I think that's not what I'm talking about though. Let's see, show rocket IDs, notifications during gameplay. So again, this is gonna be friends list. This is gonna be all that other different stuff that would come through your friends menu. I'm actually gonna disable that, so don't be mad at me. Uh, but it gives you the option for what's gonna pop up actually during the game. What's also interesting is we get a new ability, uh, and I'm really jumping all over the place with this update, but we get some new ability to change uh, our, our stats, what you guys are seeing as far as in the game. So for gameplay, if we go in here and we go down to main stats only. So this gives an option uh, to change what stats you guys are seeing. So say you don't care about the stats, it doesn't really matter to you. You can go in here and just choose no stats. That means that you're not gonna see anything uh, occur while you're playing the game. Main stats, main stats are gonna be the following. They're gonna be assists, saves, uh, epic saves, goals, shots, and then demolitions. So what you're normally used to seeing. And then all stats is basically all in-game notifications are displayed. I'm not really sure what the difference is. Haven't played around with that at all. 
Um, but I'm sure that's probably going to be an overload for a lot of you. It does look like it defaults to main stats only, but if you choose that you don't want to see any of that stuff, you don't care about the points, uh, or that doesn't matter to you, or you're really trying to grind and that gets in the way, feel free to go in here, change the options, and go ahead and turn that off. One other thing that was added into this uh, update, which I think is pretty big, and I can't really talk about it super in depth because I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know what any of the stuff <laughs> inside the patch notes means. But basically, this is giving an option for an input buffer, okay? And what this does specifically is it's designed to help with latency and with lag. Um, latency more so than anything. So these are basically ways you have your legacy, which is currently what the default uh, option for Rocket League since its, since its run has used. And you have two new options. You have sim time scaling. This allows the game server, which instructs your client to very subtly speed up or slow down in order to maintain a smooth input transition uh, and input stream, which I think kind of makes sense sort of as I read it. Then you have continuous sim time scaling, which is a more aggressive version uh, of STS that, that uses a continuous feedback loop uh, in order to determine game speed. What all that means, I really, really don't know. I'm gonna be honest with everybody, but here's the important point. This gives you an option to go in here and test these two options. And what they recommend is uh, both of the STS and the CSTS are newer strategies in order uh, to mitigate latency uh, and should be more effective for players with either connectivity issues, spotty Wi-Fi, or anything else where they felt like they were having issues running on the legacy. I honestly don't have many latency, lag, input, any of that kind of issues. I, I get it from very occasionally, but for the most point, I feel like um, I don't have as many of those issues. Sloth, on the other hand, has some of those issues from time to time. So these are two options he can go uh, and check out. And it does recommend that if you do experience um, connectivity issues during a match, you should try switching either between legacy and STS or CSTS. Uh, and then if you see no improvement, obviously move back to legacy. So again, you get these two options here. Highly recommend. This is one of those things that Rocket League's been trying to move forward with, helping people fight some of those server-side issues, fight some of that lag. Here's an option for you that you can go in that's part of this update, which is honestly probably a big piece of it. And uh, and really, we cannot um, we cannot overshadow this one, so I did want to cover it for sure. Um, so beyond that, before we get into the rest of it, and I do want to show the competitive play and all that kind of stuff, I do want to talk about... Uh, you know some general bug fixes so they fix a bug that prevents players from reconnecting after a match honestly really really important that's been a problem uh, from the get-go and uh, I, I know myself have had it uh, they fixed a couple of other bugs um, here's an important one for Xbox players and I felt I dealt with this constantly where I would have the game I'd shut off the Xbox I have always on and what would happen is when you when you launch the game after it being in a suspended state or from your instant on mode, uh, as soon as I would either join a match or try to join a friend, the game would crash. Now I can't test this because I have nobody on available to test this with yet, uh, but they said they fixed that issue where the game will no longer crash when doing that. So we'll follow up on that as soon as we know more and get a chance to change it or test it out, but I sincerely hope that's changed. That'd be a great bug fix. Uh, there was a bug uh, that was causing trades under 80 keys uh, to fail. I do feel like there was a background update that did change that a couple weeks ago, but that should be 100% at this point. Um, and then there's a couple of other small uh, changes in here, uh, just some other general bug fixes. Uh, items, for those that trade a lot, items will appear correctly in the trade window if you remove uh, and then re-add them, so they will stack correctly. That is important if you're... Uh, doing a lot of trading and maybe trying to keep track um, and let's see what else there's there is a bevy of known issues still which I do appreciate them talking through in the patch notes and covering because uh, they can't fix everything all at once and uh, I think that's important for them to know and then be able to track now here's the other one of the other really cool things before we jump into the competitive side but we can talk about both of these really at once um, again so we have our soft reset so our soft reset is 10 matches uh, in every single mode, okay? That's what you're going to have to do. If you win half of your matches uh, during, during this uh, competitive season reset, uh, you should get near your previous rank. So we're going to test that out with twos. We're going to play some. Uh, I'm going to try to grind these wins out 
probably put a video out on it just on our progress over the next couple of days uh, as we jump into this and we'll see where we land so we finished i personally finished in twos i finished in division one or i finished diamond one division three uh, by the end of yesterday well we did a little bit more grind and was able to get up to division three so i was pretty stoked about that uh, and then similarly i didn't mean to do that similarly well uh, we finished uh competitive play in threes i think at diamond three div either div two or div three so we're going to do the same thing there we're going to test that out we're going to see uh here's the other cool thing as you play these matches typically you would have to get ranked before you could get your unranked or your bronze season rewards now every match that you play in any mode uh and win that you get will count towards your bronze rewards so that's a really nice feature that was something that i felt like they should have done for a long time finally season 10 we're getting it right and we're going in to be able to do that here's the other thing that's really cool we can go to into if i'm not mistaken we can now go into training i take that back what can we go do here extra modes hang on free play so we need to go into play and we need to go actually yeah hold on I'm really screwing this whole thing up if we go into free play we didn't want to do soccer we wanted to do these extra modes this is what I get for trying to do this on the fly <laughs> so I apologize let's change our training here free play where is it at where is it at there we go so we get dunk house and hoops we get dfh stadium in snow day we get manfield as well utopia coliseum we get starbase arc for rumble and then we get drop shot so we can finally now go into free play and say you're really trying to grind this out this is a really really cool option i've been asking for this for it feels like forever uh, because it just never made any sense to me but we can finally go in and we can play a little bit of drop shot we can play a little bit of snow day we can play a little bit of hoops uh, and you get the option to go in here uh, and just mess around play with some of the mechanics get used to get used to your shots here um, and I think this is really good especially as they're really trying to push the competitive modes uh, in these people are getting really hyped and there's been a lot of really good support uh, for these being in those modes so I think that's really important and then again it gives you an opportunity especially in this mode and in snow day uh, where some of the stuff, I mean, you really have to know and understand not only the, the, the field, uh, but also how the ball reacts in this mode specifically, how, uh, how your touches here are going to react. And if you're nervous about jumping into those modes because they were ranked, you, you now have an opportunity, again, to jump into free play uh, and to play a little bit. And I'm getting choked up here a little bit because I'm so happy about this. Um, so I think this is really cool. I think this was definitely something that we really needed. Uh, again, for me, I'm going to be playing a lot of Snow Day. I absolutely love Snow Day. I think it is just one of the better uh, of the modes, but do really like Drop Shot. And again, the puck mechanics, if you've played Snow Day, you know uh, there's some very specific things that you can do with the puck. It reacts a lot differently to your touches, uh, you know, and uh, I think it's just important to note that. And now we have the option to go into training to test it out and uh, you can really see how you know your your touches uh, affect the puck and uh, so that was a really really good change I'm really super happy for that so you can jump into to free play uh, really mess around with all of those um, and I think I'm gonna be honest I think we've pretty generally covered everything that we've got in the update so uh, again as always with these updates there's a ton of stuff to cover we hit the headlines uh, we talked really through the new friends list and how that works. We talked about the additional free play that we can jump into uh, and have a good time with and, and practice some of those additional modes. Uh, we can shoot these goals, which is awesome. Season 9 rewards are now out, so as soon as you update, you should be getting them. Uh, season 10 begins with the soft reset, so you got to play your 10 uh, you got to play your 10 uh, placement matches. That's the word I was looking for. Uh, and then on top of that, we did actually get one other thing that I did miss. So good thing I'm kind of doing a recap here. Uh, but Curveball is now a ball physics mutator that you can put in uh, to the different uh, mutator options that you have available, custom matches, tournaments, and those kinds of things, which adds a curveball curve ball type effect uh, for anything that... Uh, 
uh, for the spin of the ball that it has. So we'll have to test around with that. We'll have to play with it because I think that would be pretty interesting. Um, but, yeah, so we, we got a lot of really good stuff and then some really good bug fixes in here. Uh, and as always, we will, we will link the patch notes down below. You guys can take a look. Uh, see all what's going on with that if you want to read in full detail because again I did skim over some of the other bug fixes as well as some of the other known bugs uh, so you can take a look so as always we'll have more uh, coming up we'll be talking a lot more about this update Rocket League the new season what we're going to do uh, in terms of our road to rank series as well and so uh, just stay tuned to the channel and then again we're only a couple of short weeks away uh, from our next double pain a weekend, which I'm super super pumped for so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed Thanks for watching dr. Average gamer guys uh, as always just really appreciate the support and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace